this just in. We have row-level security in Microsoft Fabric. Now in the public preview. Ooh, this is going to be good. Next on Tales from the Field. Everybody just do your thing. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up. This is your first time finding your way over to Tales from the Field. Give us a like and give us a subscribe. We drop content every Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. On Monday, we have our MS Tech Minutes, and on Tuesday, we have our Azure Data Community Roundtable, where we feature content from the Azure Data Community for the Azure Data Community. And then on Wednesday, we have our MS Tech Bits. These are videos where we're inspired by you or the product group or some creator in the community to be able to show you some new and really cool content. That's one of those videos right now. Let's get over to it. We're going to start off the Microsoft Fabric blog with the September 2023 update. I noticed something as I was reading this. I scrolled down and underneath the Synapse updates, Data Warehouse Row Level Security. Clicking on this, I see the Data Warehouse Row Level Security. They've got the Create Security Policy in the Inline Table Functions documents. We want Row Level Security with the support for SQL Endpoint. You're going to have to scroll all the way down to the bottom. We get to Scenario E, but there is the scenario we're looking for. Now I'm over in my SSMS and we're going to walk through this. I'm going to use a Tales from the Field data warehouse. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give my co-host, Naraj Jafari, Andres Padilla, Josh Ludeman, Daniel Taylor, all DB data reader. Uh, what I want to do is I want to create a table that has some of our video information in it. But the guys are kind of competitive, so I don't want them to see one another's data. I'd like to restrict this so that they're just looking at their own data so they can compete with themselves. So if I do a quick select star, I can see I've got a database full of tables looking specifically at some of our video information and the current views at the point in time that I entered this data. Now, coming back over, I'm going to do the old way of doing this, creating a privileged role. So I'm going to add all of us, myself included, what's good for the goose is good for the gander, to the privilege role. And then I'm going to create a view. Now, this is the old way. This is not the new way. But the old way is I would have a view, and I would have a where predicate value looking for the username and matching that up in some way, shape, or form. Now, when I execute this, it's going to read my username, and I am limited to just my rows. Fantastic. It's working. And if I drop myself from the privilege role, let's say I think I'm going to get around this, if I take a look at the restricted table, well, the predicate value prevents me from getting the data. But the problem is with a view, I can just go to the base table and I can select all that data and it would return for me because I'm an administrator. So we need a way around this to be able to protect us no matter what. This is row level security. So I'm going to create a new schema row level security, and we're going to do two things, creating a table value function and a security policy that invokes that table value function. Um, I'm going to reference the email that I have in my table and make that equal to the sys username because that's going to be my intra ID. I create a security policy with schema binding, putting that security policy on. And then you'll see I select from DBO videos, going to the base table, magic. I've just got my rows. So row level security in Microsoft Fabric, we can secure our data from everyone else and you can only see the data that applies to you. Fantastic stuff. So what did we cover? Well, we covered how to be able to use row level security to filter out the rows that you want to make sure that the users can only access the data that you want them to be able to access. Fantastic security functionality. If you're familiar with row level security in SQL Server, then this is going to be a breeze to you because you're going to be able to apply what you know, uh, really great stuff that we now have available in Microsoft Fabric. So you know where we want to keep this going, right? Down in the comments. Uh, sound off. Let us know. Is there anything that confused you? Anything you'd like to see? Um, any questions you might have? We would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for joining us on Tales from the Field. As always, be good to one another out there. Take care, everybody. Bye. Better time, yeah, that's how you make it. Set a goal you control and the steps you take them. I try to pick.